Hi friends, a new medicinal plant is behind of me. You can see it has medicinal as well as aesthetic value. So its botanical name is Datura inoxia, and it belongs to the family Solanaceae. The common name of this plant is trumpet horn and apple horn. So now I'm gonna start from its morphology, its origin, and all. So starting from its origin, it is basically a tropic plant that grows in humid conditions. Requires the temperature ranges between 30 degrees to 35 degrees Celsius normally. It is a native plant of North American, South American parts of the tropical region. It is being separated in majority part of the continents like uh, African continent and uh, tropic parts of the India. So starting. Of its morphology, I am going to start from its root. It has having deep tap root system, and it doesn't require that amount of water. I told you it is a tropic plant. Starting from its morphology, coming to its stem. The stem is pubescent to nature, cause you can see it has, you know, hairy or trichome-like structure on it. It is annular, semi shrub that grows up to the height of two meter, and. It has a branch like network that is spreading in all possible direction and it has it has glandular secretion for some of the parts it has unpleasant smell coming to its leaf leaves are petiolated you can see having a great petiole of 3 to 4 cm and leaves are oblong and elliptical in shape you can see having a acute kind of apex it has lyrated margin you can see having reticulate venation and uh, it has a pubescent trichomes or hair like structure you can see right beneath it and com coming to its flower flowers are white petals are fused sepals are also fused you can see and you can see right here these are the anthers you can see anthers are white creamy white in color uh, having filament of 6 to 7 cm in length and uh, it uh, it is not nectary it has unpleasant smell that is why it is wind pollinated it it is not insect pollinated it doesn't have a nectary these flowers are not attractive in nature and uh, after pollination you will see it turns into a capsule fruits are you can see are capsule with 3 to 4 cm in length right after fertilization these capsules are formed it has it's black in color with 3 to 4 mm in size you can see these are its seeds these are wind pollinated after the essence of its capsule seeds are dispersed by the means of wind it you know just blasts like this and seeds are spread in all possible direction and wherever it gets down it turns into a new plant of the tura in oxia so this was our medicinal plant. Hello friends, today we are going to talk about our new medicinal plant, Datura Anoxia. And its medicinally important parts are leaf, flower, fruit and seed. It is used to cure fever, cold, heart related disease, skin related disease, malaria, asthma. It reduces pain. It used in pregnancy. Today I wanna tell you uses of this plant in Ayurveda. Especially there are the many aesthetic value, especially the worship of the Lord Shiva. This is the fruit. This is a young fruit and flower. This is a white flower. It is especially used for the worship only Shiva. The day of worship of the Shiva is known as the Mahashivarati in India. So I gonna talk you about the uses of medicine in Ayurveda. I would like to show you there are some seeds in a fruit that are used in and to make medicines. We also make oils by these seeds and use as a hair oil. So I would like to refer you if you are using this plant or using this plant seeds so don't use directly because if you are taking directly seeds of this plant so maybe you cause some mental dis disorders 
till our one month or above a bit the medicine we use seeds of this fruit after purification uses of these seeds in a medicine purpose so you should have a knowledge about purification of these seeds these seeds have a many chemicals that's harm for us they can have uh, some heart stroke if you are taking a directly but if you are taking after purification or using as a medicine so they are there are the many diseases which cured by these seeds thank you